What's happening in our adjoining universe? A disturbing sign has been gotten through the James Webb Telescope, and it came straightforwardly from our adjoining cosmic system, Andromeda. The world, home to trillions of stars, is one of the most lovely recognized systems inside the universe. Anyway, it's too dangerous. Now and again, this universe eats up entire min universes and is as of now plunging toward our smooth way at extra than 100 kmc. Is the exceptional sign the first sign of the coming gathering among the Andromeda world and the smooth way? Or are we managing an exceptional obscure peculiarity? James Webb turned his sharp eyes to the universe furthermore, is currently showing us something extraordinary. This cosmic system has as of now demonstrated us in a great manner that it's not what we think it is. Inside the 1920s, monstrous names like Harlow Shapley, Heber Curtis, and Edwin Hubble led concentrates on utilizing the present-day advancements of the time. Thanks to the accomplishments of electrical designing, telescope execution expanded significantly in the mid-1920s, and for whenever, stargazers first had the option to look past the edges of our world. At that point, Heber Curtis was as yet one of the researchers who accepted that the smooth way was the whole universe while his partner Harlow Shapley thought that there were different universes and that the universe was a lot bigger. Shapley and Hubble had spotted weird indistinct mists behind the boundary of the smooth way. One of them was named the Andromeda Cloud as it takes cover behind the group of stars of Andromeda. At that point, Andromeda was at first respected by the general academic local area as a straightforward cloud that was plainly outside the genuine universe. In 1924, Hubble finished a progressive leap forward and was capable to show that Andromeda and various other nebs noticed were as a matter of fact systems. That is insane. Isn't it? That was only a quite a while back. So for a long time, we have had some significant awareness of different worlds and the valid nature of Andromeda. In those days, individuals were given their initial feeling that the universe was considerably bigger than they had recently envisioned. We have experienced such disturbances once more and again in our set of experiences. Individuals used to believe that the Earth was all there was, and that the sun was an opening overhead through which life from a divine being sparkled onto the earth. At that point, individuals believed that the earth was a plate and that you would fall into nothingness or damnation assuming you went past the edge. Galileo Galil was put detained at home in the 17th 100 years for his case that the earth rotated around the sun. And a few centuries after the fact, the congregation at last perceived that the earth was round. Might you at any point envision what Galileo would have said about such pictures or how the congregation of the center ages would have responded to the possibility of a system in a boundlessly enormous universe? A world two times the size of our smooth way and with trillions of stars? About quite a while back, Andromeda turned out to be a system, as well as a series of stars far bigger and that's just the beginning solid than our own. At first, space experts thought the universe was a plate or a ring. Despite the fact that telescopes had gained huge headway during the 1920s, the perception open doors were still no place practically identical to the innovation we have accessible today. It was exclusively with fundamentally higher imaging that it became clear that Andromeda is as a matter of fact a twisting arm world like our smooth way. Just Andromeda is essentially bigger, with a breadth of around 220,000 light years. Andromeda is about two times as extensive as our smooth way, which has a measurement of around 100,000 to 120,000 light years. Despite the fact that it's in particular somewhat over two times as enormous, it contains undeniably more stars. The Andromeda universe is assessed to be home to around 1 trillion stars, while we have only 100 to 400 billion stars in the smooth manner. On account of the greater star thickness, Andromeda is a genuine signal in the evening sky. Cosmologists could merely fantasize about such numbers and incredible subtleties a long time back. However, you can well envision how energizing the disclosure of other cosmic systems should have been in those days. Today we know without a doubt that there are around 50 billion cosmic systems. Gages guess that there are a sum of 100 to 200 billion systems inside the noticeable universe. A few estimations even show up at the cosmic figure of 2 trillion systems. A large portion of these worlds are found in a supercluster named the Shapley Supercluster to pay tribute to one of the principal system specialists. James Webb shows Andromeda as a loop of hearth. Clearly, each age and age has seen an upset in science and innovation. The telescope named after Edwin Hubble decisively changed our perspective on the universe. 
During the 1990s, today with James Webb, we have the best space telescope ever with razor-sharp infrared pictures. This telescope examines each light sign in the universe. Notwithstanding how little, dissimilar to Hubble, Webb recognizes hints of light in the infrared reach with its gadgets. The telescope gathers each hint of light, notwithstanding how little, and collects these negligible motivations into astounding pictures. Late night of openness time, Hubble previously gave us a strong picture of the Andromeda system. Envision this image was gathered from huge number of individual photographs. Presently Webb is looking again at the Andromeda world utilizing exact infrared innovation. Furthermore, by and by, we are in for a miracle. Each new telescope and each mechanical development acquaints us with new regions of the universe. Infrared telescopy gives us bits of knowledge that were impossible with prior innovations. One of the primary benefits of infrared perceptions is the capacity to screen dust structures inside worlds. In the Andromeda system, for instance, infrared light takes into consideration the initial time a reasonable perspective on dust rings that have remained secret in different frequencies. These residue rings recount the narrative of star arrangement inside the world and are proof of dynamic cycles. Infrared perceptions are by and large especially helpful for recognizing cool articles that don't discharge enough intensity to deliver waves in the noticeable light range. This makes youthful stars and their development regions particularly apparent to Webb. And the telescope sees all the cool residue mists that can ultimately become stars. Webb not just identifies the residue yet additionally enters it with next to no issues. We can now see through the thick billows of gas and residue, uncovering the inward frameworks with dynamic cosmic focuses and inconceivably huge dark openings. Horrible cosmic barbarism. While the greater part of you have presumably known about cosmic system consolidations where two cosmic systems become one, the truth of cosmic barbarism is likely and unexpected. Systems eating each other appears to be a name from a terrible sci-fi film, but this peculiarity is a cosmic reality. By savagery, cosmic system specialists suggest processes where a bigger system as a matter of fact gobbles up the question of a more modest one. In difference to consolidations, the bigger cosmic system racks all the matter from the more modest one and annihilates it. The essential design of the bigger of the two remaining parts nearly unaltered. This is brought about by gravitational cycles. Assuming systems come adequately close to one another as a result of their common fascination and the distinction in size is critical, this can bring about the breaking down of the more modest universe. This peculiarity has been noticed primarily in universe groups where numerous universes lie together in a restricted space. The gravitational cooperation prompts a unique, powerful reaction where stars, gas, and residue are pulled away from the more modest universe and consolidated into the bigger one. The dynamic flowing powers can prompt critical star arrangement stages and disturb the cores of the systems included. Are you amazed to hear that the remarkable Andromeda is one such cosmic man-eater? Our adjoining world has been displayed to have eaten a few of its satellite worlds. Certain designs in the heavenly populace of Andromeda act as proof of these rough demonstrations. Furthermore, the follows are likewise noticeable, for example, in the worlds M32 and M110, which are still part of the way noticeable today. By how our smooth way is no honest party in this vast show, it has currently absorbed a few more modest universes in its set of experiences and is at present eating up the Sagittarius Bantam system. Cosmic barbarism presumably plays just as large a job in the improvement of universes and the forming of the huge scale design of the universe as agreeable consolidations between systems or indeed, experiences wearing universes as it were somewhat contact and trade matter due to their common gravitational cooperations. The infinite organizations are continually changing, and the inestimable networks thusly contribute in their own way to the elements of the systems all in this is a vast round dance that we can notice and comprehend in fractions the most remarkable accident of all time Mila. It's actual at this very second. The Andromeda world is plunging towards us at a speed of 110 kilometers per second and we are additionally drawing nearer to it. The enormous marriage of the two is unavoidable, and it nearly appears as though the two are mystically attracted to one another. In around 4.5 billion years, the peak of the grandiose display of exemplifications will happen. The smooth way and the Andromeda cosmic system will then, at that point, start their last consolidation. The outcome will be Mila. 
and the start of this new cosmic system will mark the finish of separated cosmic elements. This approaching together isn't sudden, but an interaction that will bit by bit acquire power north of millions of years. As the two get increasingly close, their separate gravitational fields will begin to collaborate with one another, prompting sensational changes in the design of the two universes. At a certain distance, first, the external stars will impact. Their circles will be irritated by one another's gravitational powers, prompting a delightful though turbulent plan of stars and star groups that were once steady in their cosmic plates will then be tossed into new circles, and some will probably try and be launched out of the cosmic systems. And afterward, go through the vastness of intergalactic space without an association to a world. In the interim, gas and residue between the cosmic systems are compacted, prompting another flood of star arrangement. A firecracker show of youthful, brilliantly sparkling stars will go with this cosmic wedding. Not at all like human flesh consumption, the cosmic systems are getting to an ever-increasing extent blended. A few areas are combining harmonel while others are going through significant changes under tension. At the heart of the two systems, the show turns out to be significantly more extreme. The super-enormous dark openings approach one another, circling each other in a nearer and nearer dance until they at last consolidation. This consolidation is joined by the arrival of gigantic measures of energy, and enormous planes can shoot out into the encompassing universe at almost the speed of light. During the a great many years in which this consolidation happens, the presence of the subsequent cosmic system will change essentially a few times from the underlying winding construction of the two cosmic systems. Their association will make an enormous curved system known as Mila. Neither Andromeda nor the smooth way will then be conspicuous. Rather, a totally new design will move through the universe.